In this breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down a defense that you can utilize in Madden 22 to slow down or shut down uh, the tight Y off formation, one of the better formations in Madden, at least right now. And I'm uh, going to be walking you through step by step how you can actually defend it and how you can actually give yourself a chance uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Now, part of what makes this offense so good is the fact that it's got these apps, it's got great wheel routes. It's also got this incredible crossing route and post route on both sides, which can attack over 30 yard cloud flats. And then, of course, it's got one of the best inside zones in the entire game. So um, just going to set a couple quick audibles. We're going to put the switch wide receiver drag in here. We're going to put probably the wheel spot or the, if I can find it here, red zone scissors is another really good play. Um, they just have so many good concepts within this formation. And then we're going to put in wheel spot right here. And we're just going to come out in the PA glow slot cross. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies. Uh, we're trying to go for 30,000 subscribers over the course of the Madden 22 season. So um, if you guys can help us reach that goal, that'd be awesome. And then also wanted to quickly talk about this. So we're going to be in the 46 playbook today. Um, in the 46 playbook, we're going to be primarily focusing on this 335 wide and this cover four show two. Now, what I like to do and what most people like to do is audible from 335 normal to 335 wide. The reason we want to do that is because it's going to allow us to get the best uh, adjustments for our linebackers and the best personnel on the field. Now, if you um, want to get my full defensive ebook on this, join our Patreon. Um, the Patreon membership is only $10 a month. It unlocks everything, it unlocks all of our ebooks. We have 18 offensive and defensive guides. So when you sign up, you don't just get the 335 wide, you get 17 other offensive and defensive ebooks. The other cool part about the Patreon is it updates. So uh, whenever, new, whenever we need to tweak something or change something or learn a new defense or put together an entire new offense or defense you get all those updates so by being a patreon member as long as your subscription is active um, whenever we release a new ebook you get an update whenever we release a new tip or new tweak to an old ebook you get the update so um, we typically update it like three to four times a week and then we also have new guides coming out pretty consistently so if you want to sign up for the patreon there's a link in the description below okay and it's only ten dollars so super cheap um, okay, so let's take a look at this coverage. So I've talked about this a little bit before. One of the issues with match is if you take a look real closely here, I'm going to run a couple different route combinations. So if you notice, this is a two by two, but it's technically a compressed set. Even it's actually got really good alignment in my opinion, because it's not quite a spread, but it's not quite a compressed. Um, and that's actually very advantageous for the offense. So we're going to run two route combinations. We're going to run a streak on the left side and a corner and then on the right side we're going to run a streak and a corner okay just to kind of illustrate a concept or a principle that i think is very important to be aware of so let me see hopefully my play arts just glitched because it's not showing there we go okay and then i'm just gonna block the running back okay so if you take a look here what should happen is we should get a box check to the three wide receiver side or the three threat side which is the running back side which what that would basically mean is the outside corner will take the tight end on the right. On the left side, you're gonna see that it's not gonna be like that at all. So let's see if I'm see if I'm right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So and I'll show and I'll explain in instant replay what's going on. So in match, you get a box check oftentimes in compressed sets, such as a bunch, bunch tight end, uh, tight sets. And but really what it does is it's completely this guy's called a three receiver hook. Well, whenever you're in a set like this, the three wide receiver hook kind of tells the defense which side they're going to check to box. All, and, and, and when it says three receiver side, it's or three receiver hook means three receiver side. So there's only two receivers on the side on the left. There's two receivers on the right, but there's a running back on the right, which tells the defense it's a three wide to the right in terms of three wide threats or three receiving threats. So what you get in the coverage is you get a box check, which basically what this means is this guy right here is going to take first outside. This guy's going to take the first inside vertical. So if they run a corner route to the tight end, this guy's not going to guard him. He's going to pass him off to this guy. As long as this guy's not running the corner route himself, which typically he's going to be running either a flat or a streak. In which case, if he's running a flat, he'd actually pass it off to the quarter flat. But these, you get four over three, basically. So linebacker, safety, outside linebacker, and corner are creating a four over three box. And you take a look here, you're going to see that. So look where the three yards at, right in here. 
you see this guy's on the inside, this guy's on the outside, and this guy's for the flat. And then what you're gonna see lastly is you see, look at this action right here. Tight end runs a corner, so that outside corner drifts over to guard it. Now on the back side of this, you don't exactly get that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to explain the coverage on the back side of this, other than it seems to me that it's basically um, it's basically man coverage. Uh, again, I could be a little wrong, but you see here, see how he takes the first, he takes the number one, 25 takes number one, and then the safety takes number two, and they get this crossing action, which makes this corner route fairly decently open. Okay, now. Um, let me show you, let me explain it just a little bit further here real quick so we understand what's going on. Let's say that on this side we run uh, square to the flat. This is why I say it's basically man coverage. And we run, let's say we do something like, like this, if you will, okay? And then we just put the running back on a curl, okay? I want you to watch the left side primarily, but if you take a look here, you're going to see that that set backside corner, he does go back, but he goes back very late in the play, um, which is why, to me, it would be better if he just played in man coverage. So what I like to do out of cover for show two, um, this is typically how I like to defend compression sets, is I'll take this real quick. So we're just going to simply um, shade our coverage over the top, and what that's going to allow us to have is these two curl flat zones. See them? Then I'm gonna blitz my user. I'm gonna shift my D-line. Um, I typically like to shift them. If I'm gonna shift them at all, I, I don't like to shift them, but it does help with coverage. I'm gonna shift them to the right here and bluff blitz the defensive end on the right, on the running back side. So shift them to the running back side, bluff blitz the defensive end. What that's gonna do is, let's say for example, they run the play, um, let's say they run, um, what's it called wheel spot let's say they run wheel spot and they do something like like this if I can get my routes to work there what you should see is that three rec should guard the running back and of course he doesn't but you're you can kind of poach in that area as well so you can do that um, that will help the three rec a little bit just kind of help with the running back a little bit but then what I like to also do is take this backside linebacker and I can man him up on problems, okay, problem routes. So um, typically in this formation, the big big guy, honestly, is the running back. So I could man him up on the running back if I wanted to really make sure the running back's covered. I could man him up on the running back. Also, I could man him up on the number one receiver on the left side, which will help significantly in terms of covering um, helping the quarter zones cover no number two receiver. So I could do that as well. Again, you could man him up on anybody. So oftentimes I man him up on the running back and then I'm gonna man this left side outside quarter zone up on the number one receiver. Now I know that if they run a crossing route, let's say they run a crossing route like PA cross here, I want you to watch this coverage. What you'll see in this coverage is it doesn't do terrible, okay? you don't even have to use her that crosser. See that? You don't even have to use her. The defense itself will basically cover a crosser if it comes from the left side. However, let's say the crosser comes from the right side. Well, we took our outside quarter and made him up, and that's not the only reason why it's not gonna be, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be open. But in general, um, we know from our, our research on Bunch with this year, that if they run some kind of deep guy to that side, we've gotta be ready to go guard that ourselves. So. Again, we're gonna go flood drive here, and this time we're gonna run a little, um, little you know, flat, little hitch underneath hitch, and then we've got this right here. Okay, well you've got that guy that's gonna take the clear out, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do have to worry about that crosser. So you see, we just hang with the crosser, and we're able to take it all the way across the formation. That takes care of that concept. Um, another play is this tight end wheel. Now this play is tough. Um, the tight end wheel is one of the tougher plays. Uh, in this formation, which is why sometimes I'll man this guy up on the on the tight end because it's just it's a tough route. But um, you can also kind of it, it's also there's kind of a tell to it in terms of what they're going to run it. There's there's kind of a, a little bit of a tell uh, what they're going to basically do. Typically, is they're going to have a, a flat of some to some some type there, maybe a running back streak, and then on the back side they could run a number of concepts. Right, they can run something like this and. And, and just rock that okay 
So when you're usering here, you're going to be able to say, oh, I see that. Now, if you look there, the tight end wheel is not super open either, by the way. Okay? So, you know, it kind of hangs with the tight end wheel. Um, but anyways, that's something you can obviously adapt to with your adaptable defender. So if we want to man the tight end up, let's say they're, they're running a lot of this tight end stuff. And let's say the way they're running it might be, for example, they do something like this where they – um, take Godwin and motion him to the right, create kind of a quads, and then they and then they try to and then they try to hit a wheel. Very possible, very very possible route combination. It allows them to keep the skinny post. So maybe they go with like a uh, maybe they leave that corner and they go Miller on the flat. They motion him to the outside and then they block the running back. Something like this. Very very possible that they could run something like this. Okay, um, what you can do is just cross man that guy. And then now you've got a lot of freedom because right at the time they're going to throw that, that man coverage is coming right over there. So that's another way that you can kind of defend some of the stuff. But the big thing you got to watch, honestly, from this formation is the flood drive play. And that's why I typically, most time, they'll block a tight end because they want more pass protection. Most people like this flood drive because the tight end out route does a really good job against quarters coverage. But I'm going to show you that in Madden or with the adjustments that we made you'll see this curl flat get out there and play that tight end route really well and then you see the, the matching zones really doing a good job on everything else so this is a great defense for this formation if you make the right adjustments behind it now I, this is just a brief overview throwing some of the best route combos together if you want the full 335 wide ebook get the patreon membership we literally walk you through step by step how to adjust out of this formation why 335 wide is so good? I tell people this all the time. Nickel triple has better pressure, but wide has better coverage. And the reason why is because of its ability to adjust. You can cross man. You have safeties on the field. You can put. Um, you can consistently drop eight to nine people into coverage and have uh, a consistency there. You have a clear cut user. There's a lot of reasons to like this formation in general. Um, it's also still very good against the run. So if you want a really good all-around defense, it's not the best blitzing defense by any means. It does have ability to get pressure, but it's not its not really a defense in this year's game that is like super elite from a pressure perspective. It does have good pressure, but doesn't have nickel triple style pressure where you're gonna guarantee that you're gonna get pressure every single down. But what it does have that nickel triple doesn't have is the ability to consistently adjust like at a high level with your cross manning, with your zones, and with your concepts. So again, I've got both eBooks in the Patreon. So you want to get yourself both of them. It's only ten dollars. Literally, you join the membership, you get everything. So um, I would encourage you to consider joining it. If you want to join the membership, there's a link down in the description below where you can sign up for just ten bucks a month. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.